Hey everyone, welcome back to J Plus K Retro Gaming Channel. This week, we're going to continue on the countdown of IGN's top NES Nintendo games. So this week's game was supposed to be number 14 on the list, Excite Bite. But I already reviewed this game and it did pass my 5 minute challenge. I went back and looked at the grade and I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. So pretty high, probably would sneak into my top 15 as well. So I'll put a link to that video somewhere on the screen above. You can check that one out if you haven't already. So now we'll skip ahead to number 13 on IGN's all-time NES games list, RC Pro-Am. Play RC Pro-Am. Play with power. Pull up to the start. Taste the challenge. The power of radio control. If you can't take it, you'll need dust. Radio Control Pro-Am only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. So this, of course, is a racing video game. It was developed by a company called Rare, and depending on where you lived, it was released in 1987 or 1988. So it's pretty special in that it distinguished itself from earlier first-person racing games by using its unique top-down overhead racing perspective. It was instantly a huge success with gamers, and it actually spawned future games such as Super Off-Road and Mario Kart. So personally, I don't remember playing this NES version as a kid, but I do remember the name, and I've also probably, I think, played remakes of this game in the past, but I don't remember exactly. So I'm really excited going into this game semi-fresh and seeing if it passes my 5-minute challenge and also would make my top 15 list.
So there you have it, that was RC Pro-Am for the NES, and yes, it definitely passes the 5 minute challenge, actually destroys the 5 minute challenge. I had so much fun playing this game, and as soon as I put it in, I actually do remember kind of playing it, a very fuzzy memories, kind of dusted it off, but it definitely brought back a lot of nostalgia for me. So quickly, let's jump into the ratings, audio and music. I'm going to give this game 9 out of 10. So the intro music and the menu music, super fun, very upbeat, uh, definitely adds to the gameplay experience. But what really took it over the top was the sound effects. They were just amazing. So it had everything you expect and want in a racing game. So the roar of the engines, squealing of the tires, and unfortunately, which I did a little too much, crashing of the cars. All of the sound effects were top notch, so 9 out of 10. So for graphics and video, I'm going to also give this game 9 out of 10. So the game was very colorful, the tracks were really well done, all the environments, the details, the little signs. Sometimes with the 8-bit system, things can get a little bit fuzzy and you can't really tell what they are. But with this game, even though the graphics were simplistic, the items were still really recognizable. Again, keeping with the simplicity of the graphics, the car design, so awesome course the different colors and I don't know about you let me know in the comments but who didn't want an RC radio controlled car as a kid I know I did but unfortunately sometimes as a kid I would get a gift and I would think it was a radio controlled car but it was actually attached to a cord so you'd have to run around with it uh, those didn't work very well but eventually I did end up getting some radio controlled cars I remember my first one was this truck 9.6 feet turbo bandits radio control pickups with a bad attitude a little monster truck was about this big uh i ran that thing into the ground so i guess that was a little off track but graphics and video 9 out of 10. now on to all important gameplay and rc program does not disappoint it also scores 9 out of 10. so the game was super fun as i stated but also really fast so of course, you're going into a racing game, you want that feeling that you're going fast. Some of these 8-bit systems, these earlier games, even Atari games, you're driving around and you're not going very fast, so it gets kind of boring. But this game was not that. It was super fast, almost too fast. At the beginning, I had to get used to the controls because I was actually driving too fast off course. But after I got used to the controls, it was perfectly fine. So of course the main screen was the cars driving around the track, but you also had those other screens which enhanced the gameplay. So the map of the course, also your speed, also what lap you're on, all of that took the gameplay over the top. And if that wasn't enough, this game also adds an element of surprise and also power-ups on the track. So all those obstacles I spoke about, I loved how the car spins when you hit the oil, the nitro, and the arrows, the speed arrows on the track, just everything blended perfectly to make this a super fun, awesome gameplay experience. So overall, RC Pro-Am for the NES gets 9 Marios out of 10. So definitely would make my top 15 list, of course, as I stated before, does pass the 5 minute challenge. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Have you played this game before? I'd love to know if it makes your top 15 list. I always love the interaction and hearing feedback from the community. So that's it for this week. Thank you all for watching. Thanks to all our subscribers for all your support. And I'll see you next week on the next 5 Minute Gameplay Challenge.